Amen. Praise the Lord. New Rises Church family and friends, thank y'all for joining us in this daily devotional entitled The Heart Matters. The Heart Matters because there are matters that affect our hearts. And each day during this prayer series, we're lifting up our hearts before God as we read God's scripture and we learn the conditions of our heart and the way God wants to move upon our heart. We're just praying his word back to him, having this confidence to know that when we pray God's will, he would have his will be done on earth, even as it is in heaven. And so today we're going to pray day number 18 from Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 17. Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 17. If you want to get your scripture so you can pray along with us today, we're going to be in chapter 3 of Ephesians and verse 17 from the New King James version of the word of God. Here's what it says. That Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love. Amen. That Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love. Amen. Today we want to pray about three things according to Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 17. Number one, we want to pray that Christ will dwell in our hearts that Christ will dwell in our hearts. Number two, we want to pray that we will be rooted in love in our hearts. We will be rooted in love. And then secondly, thirdly, we want to pray that we will be grounded in love, that we will be grounded in love in our hearts. Come on, let's pray. Hallelujah to his name. Jesus, we love you today, and we magnify you and we lift you up. Lord, when we think of your goodness and all that you have done for us, Lord God, our souls cry hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for saving us. Lord, we thank you that you have created in us clean hearts and that you renew in us a steadfast and right spirits. And Lord, we pray that as you have cleaned our hearts and removed the sin, that Lord, our hearts would be places that you would dwell. Our hearts would be places, God, that you would feel comfortable dwelling in, that you would make your abode and your home with us in our hearts. Lord, we pray that we would experience your presence on the inside, that you would dwell in our hearts and our minds and our will and our emotions today, that each heartbeat, Lord, we would experience you walking with us and talking with us, that we would hear your still, small voice leading us and guiding us from the inside out. Lord, let us not be moved by every wind and every piece of doctrine that comes our way, but Lord, let us try the spirits by the Spirit. Lord, let us trust in you with all of our heart and not lean nor stand upon our own understanding, but instead, up in all of our ways, let us acknowledge you, O God, and let you direct our pathway. Lord, that comes when you dwell in our hearts. So, Lord God, we pray that you are welcome in our hearts today. And we pray, Lord God, we would be rooted in your love. That, Lord, we wouldn't be moved by every wind of doctrine. We wouldn't be moved by this idea or that idea, this concept, this philosophy. But we would be rooted in your love. That, Lord God, when storms come our way, that they wouldn't be able to move us, God, because we are rooted in your love. We are rooted in your compassion. We are rooted in Jesus Christ. He is the rock of our salvation. So Lord God, when the world is shifting around us like shifting sand, Lord, let us build our life upon the rock that is your word, upon the rock that is Jesus Christ. Lord, that as you give us your word, let it take up root in our hearts, that it might produce fruit in our life. Lord, let us be rooted in your agape love, your unchanging love, your eternal love. For Lord God, you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. You are the Lord God and you change not. Lord, you are in fact love. Help us to be rooted in you and rooted in your love that we might not change with the weather. We might not change with whatever's going on around us. But like you, Lord, we would be consistent 
as be we as because we are rooted in your love. And then Lord help us to be grounded in your love. Lord let our hearts be grounded in your love. Let us study your word that we might be approved, workmen that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And Lord, as we hear the truth, let us place our faith deep in your word. Let us not be moved, Lord, with false teaching and false prophecies and false preachers, but Lord, let us be rooted and grounded in the truth of your love. Lord, let us be stable in all of our ways. Lord, let us be stable, Lord, in our relationship. Let us be stable in our families. Let us be stable on our jobs. Let us be stable in ministry because we are grounded in your love. Lord, thank you for helping us to understand that the heart matters and help us to understand the matters of our heart. In our prayer today, Lord, according to Colossians 3 and 17, is that Jesus Christ would dwell in our hearts through faith with us being rooted and grounded in your love. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Listen, I love you in the Lord, dearly beloved. I thank God for you uh, tuning in to this uh, daily prayer series about the heart matters. And you want to get those daily devotions each day that they come out. Simply subscribe to the channel. That way you can get them and you can get notifications that they've come out. And you can pray along with us and pray for us as we pray for you. And then if you would be so kind as to share the channel with someone else, let them know that their heart matters to God and that God wants to help them with the matters of their heart. We'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. I love you in the Lord, dearly beloved. Be victorious today. God bless.